Hello YouTube, this is Magnolia Mo and you are watching my channel. Welcome to episode 2 of my home theater tour. In my last video, I covered everything that was non-audio related. So, I am excited to now cover the, my, my favorite part of this room, right, which is the audio part, which are my speakers, you know, my, my processor, my two-channel setup, my multi-channel setup, uh, and then my speaker layout, all right? So I don't know about you guys, but I'm very excited. So let's get on with it. For speakers, I have uh, all B&W speakers. Um, and for towers, I have the 702 S2s. Uh, these are excellent for movies and music combined. In my last video, uh, home theater tour, uh, I had the B&W CT 7.4s all around, five of them. Um, and uh, those were very good for movies, awesome for movies, uh, as a matter of fact. But uh, they <laughs> left a lot to be desired from, you know, from a, a music perspective as well as an aesthetics perspective. Uh, perspective. They're pretty, you know, they're boxy and big and uh, not ugly to look at, but just cumbersome to look at. Uh, these actually, you know, are beautiful to look at and... Um, sound amazing uh, they go down to about 28 hertz in my room uh, i have uh, uh, i did a review on these speakers uh, a few months ago and uh, uh, and and uh, they perform really well uh, you know for for the price point i i'm not sure if there are better speakers than than these um, you know at least for my taste right um, just my opinion and then um, for center, I have the BMW 7, uh, I'm sorry, it's this is the HTM 71 S3. This is the newest uh, 700 series center channel. Um, I did a review of this speaker as well. Uh, this one, you know, to me, matches really well with um, my towers, even though, they, you know, they have, uh, the tweeter is an older tweeter on these uh, you know in my review I did a center match test on on, on these on on the center and um, it was uh, it was quite a good good match as far as the fronts are concerned and then for my surrounds let's pan back here a little bit for my surrounds I have the BMW uh, 686 now these you know, I was planning to upgrade to the 705 S2s or the S3s or even the 706 uh, in, in this room. And um, I just haven't gotten around to doing that because, number one, they are quite pricey. So I gotta wait. I have to wait for, for a special deal or something to, to come out on those. Um, and these also match fairly well. With the fronts uh, just having the same family of speakers you know you're going to get the same tonal balance across uh, obviously these are bookshelves so they're, they're not going to have the same frequency response as, as the towers uh, so i do cross these uh, at uh, 80 hertz um, i also cross over the 702 s2s uh, at 60 hertz for movies and then for music i, I run them large so 686s for the back surround, so I got one just flanking my listening position. This is my main listening position right here. Um, I have the other one right, right here. Uh, and then for the back surrounds, I have the Polk Audio. Um, I've had these, I, I don't know, I think since 2005 or something. Um, and um, and, and the only reason why I still have these over here is because, uh, you know, eventually when I do upgrade to the, the, the 700 series uh, surround, uh, you know, side surrounds, I'm going to move the 686s back here with these guys. Uh, and this is, forget the model number on these, but um, let's see if we can take a look here. These are the R10s. Uh, from Polk from Polk Audio. Uh, again, it's the silk dome tweeter on these, and um, not not the same as the aluminum tweeters on the on the B and Ws. 
So sort of a mismatch, but it does the job, you know, as far as the back surrounds are concerned on a temporary basis. Uh, for my height speakers, I have the I have four of the CCM663s from BMW. Um, they, these, you know, perform can do uh, the top surround, uh, top front and top rear duties for me. Uh, currently, I have a uh, six height speaker setup. So I have the the BMW M1s for my front heights and here's the other one right here and then I use the the CCM 663s as top middle and then the BN and I'm sorry and Martin Logan Motion 4 for my rear heights. Now I am planning. Um, I did a video recently on uh, uh, the center height, so I'm gonna actually get three uh, M1s. So one for the center height, and then two for the 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 rear height channels to come to round out the six uh, height speaker layer. All right. So that is the seven point. Um, actually. That's the, the seven bed layer speakers and then your uh, and my six height speakers and then for subwoofer duties I have this amazing SVS SB3000 <clears throat> um, for, uh, for my back subwoofer and then for my front subwoofer I have the, the SVS SB16 Ultra. For my processor, I have the Marantz um, 8805A. Um, I've done a video on <laughs> uh, my uh, thought about getting the AV10, uh, but for now, this one is still in here. Um, I'm not saying I won't get the AV10 at some point. Um, I might eventually end up getting that, but for now, it is the 8805, it does everything and more that I uh, that I've asked for uh, of it uh, you know from a processor standpoint uh, you know this is pretty much you know in, in its own category I know there are others like you know in the Anthem uh, uh, processor is pretty nice the Emotiva uh, is nice the you know you have all obviously the the end all be all uh, the Trinov the Storm Audios but you know for, for my purposes you know I get everything uh, you know that I want from this Marantz so so this one and I and if I am gonna upgrade I'm gonna upgrade to another Marantz because I love Marantz products um, I have a Marantz 5 channel MM7055 uh, uh, for uh, my heights uh, for five of my heights and a Russound um, it's a, it's a stereo amplifier, but I run it in bridge mode uh, to, to power just my left top, um, top middle left speaker. Uh, and um, so, so that kind of rounds up all the six speakers. So five are powered by, by the MM7055, and then that one, uh, you know, top middle is powered by the, the Rust Sound running in bridge mode. And, uh, and then for my bed layers, um, this is one of my favorite, you know, amplifiers out there in the market. It's Macintosh 8207. Uh, I didn't want to get the uh, uh, the MC207 um, or or the 205, 207 actually, uh, uh, is because the display was just too bright for the front of the room. So, so I ended up getting this one, uh, and um, you know, it does wonders, right? Uh, from a sound perspective very very balanced uh, sound very natural sound uh, and uh, you know it, it's got quite a bit of power uh, 200 watts into into seven um, <clears throat> and I've not run out of uh, uh, the power as far as uh, this uh, particular amplifier is concerned it does have the power guard so it lets me know when I'm driving my speakers too hard um, it actually has the automatic circuitry to avoid that um, and then here is the AudioQuest Red, uh, Dragonfly Red, um, plugged into the Marantz, you know, for computer audio. And then I have my Pre-Box S2 
uh, DAC. It's a uh, you know it's, it it plays all all formats, including DSD 512 uh, native. It's not a multi-channel DAC, uh, two-channel DAC, and uh, so I actually prefer listening to music through here uh, most of the time. I'll switch to the Dragonfly every now and then, uh, but this is my preferred two-channel music computer audio listening uh, DAC right here. Uh, it is connected, you know, via the Audio Quest. Uh, actually, still don't remember what these were, but they were pretty expensive. Um, then for my Blu-ray, uh, I have the Panasonic 8 uh, UB820. Above that, you can see I have the Apple TV uh, 4K, and then I also have a Sony. Uh, this is the 7200. It's, it's a Blu-ray player. I have this because can see back here I don't know if you can see yeah I have a Western digital uh, it's, it's a it's a hard drive so that's where I store all my digital files my DSD files my music and and the Sony the reason why I have kept it in the system is because it can play native D DSD uh, multi-channel DSD uh, you know off of my my external hard drive uh, and um, and I don't need an SACD player because I've ripped all my SACDs into DSD files and then I have DSD downloads as well. So that's the reason why the Sony is still here. Uh, below that, and, it, and you know, you see all the wires, there's there's really nothing. I, I mean, I've tried to clean them up. You can, you can see I've cleaned up some of this over here, but I have like 15, 16 devices connected in here. It's tough to keep all the wires, <laughs> you know, in check. And I like to keep switching out cables, just to try different cables. Uh, so I, 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 I don't want to like, you know, just tie them and leave them, you know, and, but, but this is the prettiest you're going to get as far as I'm concerned. Um, I have this, uh, LG DVD player. Um, it's a multi-region DVD player. That's the reason why I have it because I have a, a disc that I bought recently. It was an anime from, um, you know, but it's in a, uh, it's not region one. It's, uh, it's PAL. I needed a cheap DVD player to play it, so that's why it's there. Below that, I have the DirecTV box, um, and below that, I have the Rasan uh, stereo amplifier, which I run in bridge mode. Next to it, I have my Panamax. Uh, this is the 5400, uh, uh, you know, power conditioner and um, surge protector. Uh, you know, I've, I think this is my third one. Uh, I've had these since 2012. Um, and not that the other two, you know, were, uh, went bad. I just changed them out, you know, because I know over a period of time, um, you know, search protection kind of wears off. So, so I sell them and I buy these new ones. I have my old faithful, um, PS3, which recently died. It's still there. I'm going to replace the motherboard on it. See if it, if that's going to uh, get it going again. Um, and then here's the Logitech, uh, you know, uh, hub, Harmony hub. I have the PS5, which is actually hooked up directly to the TV. It is hooked up directly to the TV, and I and I use the ERC from the TV into uh, the Marantz. Uh, and I mean, I guess it's one half does another. Uh, the reason why I have it set up that way. Uh, is because number one, I wanted to try the ERC, how that works, and and um, and and number two, uh, it, you know, it's just I think it, it's a direct connection is better, uh, bypass the 8K, you know, input on here, the gaming input that I have on here, it will do 4K 120 hertz, it'll do VRR, the Marantz will. I just wanted to go direct into the TV on this one. So that's the the PS5. Okay, for my two channel setup. I have my old faithful Martin Logan montage. Uh, I have a pair of them. I've had them for more than 10 years. Uh, I love uh, these speakers. I love the stereo imaging, the, the center image that they create, uh, the Phantom Center. Uh, it's got the ribbon, you know, it, it's the ATF uh, tweeter, uh, I believe, uh, on here. I, I had to replace the the, the mid bass driver on this um, a few years ago because it crapped out uh, Martin Logan that's why they continue to be my favorite brand you know they they 
they sent me a new one obviously i've had to pay for it but they sent me a new one they walked me through it i did the whole replacement my replacement myself and they've been good to go since then uh, and speaking of good to go i did change the ps3 also the um, blu-ray drive had died uh, maybe like four years ago so i youtube the video and then just followed the you know the direction and changed the blu-ray drive on that one but now i think the mother motherboard's dead but here is my turntable it is a project um, I don't remember the the name the model but I will look it up and I will put it in the description of this video I've had this for maybe about eight nine years um, I have some I have a few records that I, I love to play um, you know every now and then my favorite one is the Santana one right there but there's a few that I, uh, that I like playing and then um, the turntable actually is connected into this uh, old Techniques uh, ProLogic, you know, receiver that I've had since 1994. Does a great job. Uh, it still sounds amazing. And then I have the Pioneer Elite, which this was the last of the the Mohicans, I guess, the last of the ones, the the really good Pioneers uh, uh, Elite receivers before they went by the wayside. Uh, so I've kept this, you know, uh, with me uh, ever since. Uh, so that's that's my two channel setup and I believe I have covered everything in this room so I hope you guys like this uh, this tour and uh, and you continue to follow my channel if you are new to this channel uh, please don't uh, forget to, to like subscribe and share my videos uh, and if you are a subscriber, if you are a viewer of my content, I thank you uh, with uh, the bottom of my heart for following me through through this journey. So until next time, have a great day. You YouTube.